Hi, this is Brian Casey with The Grill and the Fig, and today we're going to talk about Grenache. Grenache Noir specifically, not to be confused with Grenache Blanc. And Grenache is one of the, if not the most widely planted grape in the world. It's used in the classic GSM Grenache Syrah Mauvedra blends and is the main component in the Chateau Neuf de Pop wines where it makes up typically about 70% of the wine. Some of the flavor profiles in Grenache are definitely gonna be red berry fruit, uh, raspberries and strawberries, some black currants, uh, black cherries, black leather, black pepper, a uh, little star anise, and even sometimes uh, roasted nuts. Grenache can be compared to a lot of different grapes. It sort of depends on the style of the winemaker. So some Grenache are done in a very light lean style with lower alcohol that you might compare to a Pinot Noir and some Grenache are done in a deeper, darker, more fruit extracted version that you could compare to a Zinfandel and sometimes even a Cabernet Sauvignon. So I like to drink Grenache on its own. Some people uh, prefer it with hard cheeses. Uh, the duck confit I think on the menu would be an incredible uh, pairing. Chicken dishes and even beef depending on the style of the Grenache. In the early California wine industry, Grenache's high yields and high alcohol uh, made it an ideal blending component for jug wine production, uh, which you would think of even as a white Zinfandel. Uh, it was very comfortable in heat and with no water, so it was easy to grow in the Central Valley of California and the San Joaquin area. In the late 20th century, we saw a revival of the Grenache variety, spearheaded in part by the Rhone Rangers movement. Uh, they imported a lot of new cuttings to California. Um, some old historic vines in Mendocino have actually gotten a lot of interest lately. So two of my favorite producers of Grenache in California would be Mathis, Peter Mathis, who is a regular at the restaurant. You will see him frequently sitting at the bar. And then you have Angela Osborne, who makes a tribute to Grace. And all she does is Grenache. I think she does eight different vineyards, and all of them are incredibly beautiful wines. This is Brian Casey with The Girl in the Fig saying, know your vines, and enjoy your wines.